My favorite planet is the Earth. Um, I uh, have all sorts of temperamental and experiential uh, <laughs> resonances with it. Uh, and uh, I, I, uh, I haven't seen all of it by any means. Uh, I sort of have the motto, see Earth first. But if you, uh, if you ask me what other worlds would I like to personally set foot on, if it were possible, and with modest penalty... Um, I guess Mars. I've, I've sort of dreamt about it since childhood and been involved in exploring it. But there, you know, I, I wouldn't pass up any world. Uh, there, there's not a one that's boring. They are astonishing. And in many cases, you learn about your own world by exploring other worlds. You learn, for example, about what dumb things not to do with this planet by looking at the alternative fates of Earth-like worlds, let me give two quick examples. You look at Venus, where a massive carbon dioxide atmosphere has produced a broiling 470 degree centigrade surface temperature, hot enough to melt tin or lead. And that is a, a very good counter argument to those who say, oh, nothing to worry about from carbon dioxide greenhouse effects. And the other uh, case, is Mars, where the surface is fried by ultraviolet light from the sun. And the reason is that there is a planet-wide ozone hole that's very relevant to people who say, oh, don't worry about the absence of ozone. 